why and how everything moves. Forces, laws of motion, speed, velocity, acceleration, gravity, momentum, and many more will be discussed in, in this video series. Welcome in a journey into classical mechanics. Hello and welcome in this episode of A Journey into Physics. Today we're going to discuss about a crucial idea that will help us go deeper into classical mechanics. It's called vector. We're going to discuss what is a vector, what is the vector magnitude, and what we call a unit vector. At the last part of our video, we're going to solve the previous episode exercise. So, what is a vector? A vector is a real quantity that has a magnitude and also a direction. It is important because in physics we don't care only about the magnitude, but we also care about direction. Let's give you an example. For example, uh, speed. It's a real quantity. Let's say a magnitude of 3 meters per second. Yes, but we also want to know where is he going? Up, down, left, right back, forth. So, we have to symbolize those directions. That's what we're going to see next. In order to be able to symbolize it, we have to analyze these three categories. First of all, how we symbolize the quantity. Second, what is the magnitude? And how, what is a unit vector and how we symbolize it? Let's start with the simplest. How we symbolize a quantity? We put above the quantity symbol an arrow. Let's say, for example, speed. This is the symbol of speed. So, in order to write it down as a vector, we put simply an arrow above it. So, what is the magnitude? To put it plain simply, magnitude is the size of the quantity. In its quantity, the measurement is different, but it always means the same thing. How small or large is the quantity? For example, in our example, the quantity is 3 meters per second. With the magnitude, we can say it, it is moving faster than another car who is moving with 2 meters per second. And finally we will discuss about unit vector. What is a unit vector? A unit vector is a vector that has magnitude one and direction the same with an axis
we can symbolize we symbolize them by putting this symbol over this i, j and k variables or you can see them also with with using the x, y and z symbol. Now finally we're going to write the speed of a moving car using our vector symbols. Let's start. The speed equals to three meters per second. I. This means that the vector speed is moving with a magnitude of 3 meters per second in the direction of the I vector. Unit. Another example is a car moving in two different directions, both up and, up and down and both left all right, and we can write it down like this. Let me explain this. The vector of speed has a magnitude of 2 meters per second in the i axis and 3 meters per second in the j axis and so on. Now I want to tell you that in the previous video I wrote down you the second law of Newton which it was that the sum of the total forces equals to the object mass multiplied by its acceleration. I want you to understand the concept and the principal idea that's behind this equation. But in order to, now that we have find out about vectors, we should write it down like this. the vector of the total forces equals to mass multiplied by the vector of acceleration. Now let's pass to the last part of our episode where I saw the previous episode exercise. I gave you the equation about acceleration and time. I gave you the initial conditions and I asked you to give me the equations of speed and distance let's do them first of all we're going to start by taking the definition of acceleration Acceleration is the change in speed over time. In this part now I'm taking the tangles and put the initial conditions and 
and here is my equation about speed we will do the same to find out the, the equation about distance now that we have the equation about the speed We will say again that the definition of speed is the change in distance over a time. I'm taking now also the integrals and putting my initial condition and I have also my equation for distance if we want, we can start from the equation of distance and find the equation of speed and the equation of acceleration using the same method. You can try this in your next uh, exercise for the next video. You can pause the response here or in the next I hope video. you enjoyed this video. If you did, please comment, like and share this video. Subscribe for more. And you can also follow us on Facebook and on Twitter. The links are below in the description. Thank you all and see you in the next episode of A Journey into Physics.